Stop getting amnesia in your IDE and do this instead. Today I'll show you how to give memory to your cursor using Cogni MCP server, but of course you can use it in any other MCP client like Klein, Cloud, Code, Ru and more. So I'll leave all the relevance link below. Let's get started. First things first, we'll clone the Cogni repo where we have our MCP server. I already did it here. And then we will navigate to Cogni MCP directory, install the dependencies, and then activate the virtual environment that our server will be running. And that's all. Now we can run our server. After making sure that our server is running, we can go ahead to the cursor settings and find tools and integrations and click on add new MCP server. Here we will give the path to the script that will run the Cogni server. You can configure the language model, the databases as you wish, but I'll go with an easy setting. And we are done. Now we can use Cogni MCP from our chat. Let's start with giving some information about our project and test it. I'll go with, remember that five people will work on this project and cursor calls Cognify tool, we'll run the tool and Cognify process will begin in the background. We can check the status of the Cognification process by running Cognify status. Perfect. Now our data is in Cogni. So let's go and ask how many people We'll be working in this project to test it. And we got the correct answer. Five people will work on this project. Over time, Cogni connects all the concepts and codes for your project together and provides you with accurate answers whenever you need it. So go ahead, give it a try and let us know what you think.